At Audiology Associates of Prestonsburg, you can live your life the way you want and find the freedom of better hearing. With 40 years of being in the hearing care industry, you'll experience patient care that is specific to you with exceptional follow-up care that ensures your hearing and balance needs are being met. Audiology Associates at 1428 North Lake Drive in Prestonsburg. Following a drug investigation, Floyd County Sheriff's deputies executed a search warrant Wednesday, July 5th at the home of Jeffrey Hunter in Melvin, Kentucky. The deputy seized nearly five ounces of crystal meth, prescription pills, digital scales, suboxone strips, a handgun, and other drug paraphernalia. Some of the drug guys have been working a case up in the Left Beaver, uh, Melvin area, over the last several weeks, month. Um, so last night was a result of that investigation, and a uh, search warrant was executed on the home of Jeffrey Hunter. And uh, the results of the search obviously netted a substantial amount of uh, crystal meth. Uh, firearms, a um, couple of things, and other drugs and paraphernalia used in the uh, distribution of illegal drugs. Uh, it's getting more deadly. The game that they're playing is totally out of control. I mean, it's not marijuana, it's not beer drinking, it's not whiskey hauling like it back, was back 30 years ago or 40, 50. But uh, what they do today is just, I mean, one hit and you're dead. And our overdoses are, uh, you know, they're skyrocketed there for a couple of years. And I think they're on the downswing too again, thank goodness. So, um, yeah, the game that these drug dealers are playing is ruthless. They don't care about your life and they don't care if you die. So it's very important that we get the dealer and before the drugs get on the street and we try to take off as much off of the street as we can. Hunter has been charged with trafficking in a controlled substance, convicted felon in possession of a handgun, possession of drug paraphernalia, possession of a controlled substance, and other drug-related charges. And we have noticed over the last year or so that doing our informants and when we're talking to drug dealers, it's hard to get them to come to Floyd County. It's hard. They'll say, no, I'll meet you somewhere else or you come and get it or we're not delivering there. We're not. But that's a good sign of not just the law enforcement here in Floyd County, but our judicial system is, is getting to where they're, ha they're hammering some of these drug dealers, you know, and getting some years in jail. Uh, you know, obviously it couldn't be possible without uh, public support. And they're the ones who's got to tell us the drug activity and the increase of traffic at somebody's house, the late night and who the deal. That's what gets us onto these investigations. Um, in this case, particular, we uh, we followed some stolen items. Neighbors were saying certain items were being stolen, and some of them might end up at a house, and that leads us to some things. But it, all that public information just leads us to uh, work that much harder and try to be faster at getting a drug dealer caught. To make an anonymous tip, call the Floyd County Sheriff's Department at 606-886-6171 or text a tip to 606-477-8477. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.